Hi there. This is my first uh, episode of Deep Orb Coder, and it's an intro. It's kind of explained my motivations and um, uh, how I'm going about this project. Um, what, how, who, why, and how. I guess I decided to do how twice. Um, so what is Deep Warp? It's a, basically it's a project about computers learning how to make music and art. Um, I'm interested in the idea of how could we take uh, a broad set of cultural influences and learn about them with machine learning and compose entirely new pieces of art um, influenced by those, by our culture. Um, so humans are not out of the picture in this. Our, our history and our legacy is, all of this is possible through that legacy. Um, it is a dream of that, of that. It is a, a mechanical dream that uh, comes out of that legacy. Uh, it's based on... Uh, the musical aspects right now are mostly based on recurrent neural networks and LSTMs. Um, the, that's uh, basically how a system is going to look at uh, a sequence of events and learn the structure of those events. And it, one of those uh, recurrent neural network techniques is called LSTM, which is long short-term memory that allows it to actually... Um, do a better job of looking back and figuring out what are those patterns. Um, also use all kinds of tools like Python tools for image manipulation um, because this isn't just about creating music, but it's also about creating art. Ultimately, what I'd like is a system that can create complete works that include auditory and visual media. Um, I'm also not just looking at um, uh, those l linear learning, but also looking at unsupervised learning through generational adversarial networks. I'm super interested in the idea that systems may be able to treat themselves, uh, teach themselves, and uh, without supervision. And I think that's a really growing area in the machine learning field right now that's interesting to me. So how am I doing this? Um, I'm going to during this project, I am going to attempt to use uh, a vast majority of uh, open source based systems. Uh, some systems I can't avoid, uh, avoid, like you know the proprietary drivers around NVIDIA. There's no way um, I could do this work without those. Um, but a vast majority of the tools that I'm going to use are going to be open source. It's like OBS, which is what I'm uh, broadcasting on right now. Uh, I may eventually, I'm using it for pure recording right now. I might use it for streaming in the future. Ardor 5, I'm attempting to have the multi-track sequences. Like, what I really would like to do is have zero, like, as little human curation and interaction as possible. But I reserve the right to be a um, participant in this art creation. Um, and I do that sometimes when I'm doing, like, song fight. Uh, or uh, have a specific kind of goal that comes out of the generative art that I that I use tools like Ardor 5. Rose Garden, mostly I'm using Rose Garden to just get visibility on the MIDI and have uh, a tool to kind of hack MIDI. Um, and then, of course, Visual Studio Code, which is where we're going to be coding. Um, and uh, so I have most of these open. So here's Visual Studio Code, and I have it open to the to the actual generator uh, project, which is written in um, Python. We'll be going over all this code and kind of what it does. Uh, it's Python, and then if you look at the requirements file, you know, I've got like Mido and Matplotlib, NumPy, Pillow, Scikit-Image. So you can see that, uh, and what you don't see here is PyTorch, which this is mostly based on, and that's because um, the NVIDIA uh, Docker container has PyTorch built into it, and these are kind of the things that I'm adding to it. Um, then OBS, which you're probably familiar with, which I'm casting from right now, 
Um, and then uh, some tools like Rose Garden. Uh, there we go. Uh, and here's one of the pieces that has that I made with uh, Deep Orb. Uh, let's go back a little bit and play. Yep. Okay, so we're playing a little bit of that. Um, and that's pretty much where we're trying to go with this project in terms of tools. Um, so why am I doing this? Um, uh, I'm an artist and a creator, and I love, um, uh, I love, I've always made all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm, my site is claytantor.com, and you can learn a little bit more about me, but, um, I've done everything. Um, I, I, I like the, I love working with both technology and creativity, and I've done everything from designing virtual architecture for games to designing jewelry using, you know, 3D tools like Blender to, um, you know, creating digital art, creating, you know, uh, porcelainware for the kitchen or even printable 3D chess sets. Uh, um, by day, I'm a cloud architect and... Um, this is basically creativity is kind of how I balance out uh, what I do in my, my daytime. Uh, so uh, very interested in how technology and art overlap. Um, you can also find my Instagram page, uh, Clay Tantor on Instagram. Uh, and, you know, uh, I have a whole bunch of experiments in uh, AI. Here's some delicious peaches that I made some preserves from. But, you know, uh, this fella popped up uh, during a, a generational adversarial network uh, of faces using the, cel the CelebNet um, image database. And I was just blown away. He looks like Legba to me. But um, these pieces here are also using generational adversarial networks with some pretty hardcore image processing to filter um, it down to black and white. Um, and then I used RNNs to um, generate kind of these like taglines or quips or whatever you want to call them. Uh, these are going to be a set of stickers that I make. Uh, anyway, so uh, I make art and I'm also very curious and I want to share with people that curiosity and learn from others. Um, I want to you know, I, you, uh, it would be a blessing to both inspire and be inspired. Um, and so, you know, sharing allows me to do that. And, I, you know, I'd love to hear uh, from others that are making uh, art using machine learning and, and, and what their insights are coming from it. So, um, so there's a few people who this core work is based off of. There's going to be more as I discover, and I'll share those discoveries with you. Um, so like, uh, Quasimondo on Twitter, I think I can find Quasimondo here. Uh, let's see. Yep. Um, uh, Mario Klungman is doing a whole bunch of very interesting things with, um, uh, machine learning and art, uh, both textual and imagery. Um, another one that, um, has influenced at least my specific implementation is Christine McLevy Payne. Um, she is a person who works at um, uh, OpenAI, which is, you know, uh, the spearhead of PyTorch and CPT3, which is, you know, arguably the most advanced uh, machine learning model in the world. Um, but her specific focus is in musical. Uh, she's a pianist. Um, as well in, in his musical using machine learning for for music her pieces are a little more um centered around a music generation from a musical person's perspective uh i'm taking some of the things that she's doing and really trying to operationalize it and scale it um so that it could be uh it could work in a, a very large um machine learning pipeline in the cloud um, also I have on here, uh, Raul Puri, uh, Raul, um, basically, um, did the first major commits into Takatron, which I'll be sharing. I'll be doing some episodes around, uh, 
lyrics generation and acapella um, because uh, I I'm, would like lyrics and uh, voiceover and, and um, libretto um, to be part of the project as well. So we're going to be getting into Tuckertron as well and some of the people at NVIDIA have done some amazing work with that. So uh, that's kind of some of the influencers that I've been working on. Uh, go, make sure to go to our website. I'm going to uh, it's called deeporb.net and it's you know it's very thin right now but i'm going to be as more comes i'm going to be adding more and more to it um basically you can listen to our 24 hour um internet radio station that's completely generated by machine learning um and i'm playing just a little bit of that for you right now there we go so a little bit of a little bit of what's going on so the different pieces are generated by learning from different genres of music, including country or metal or pop. Um, and so, you know, give it a listen. This is just beginning and it's on 24 seven. It's free. Enjoy some AI music. Um, and then uh, we're on Twitter as uh, Orb Deep. So make sure to follow us there. Um, and, you know, we'd love to keep a conversation going with you there. Uh, and you'll always see new pieces and new episodes, uh, being posted here. So, you know, stay in touch and, and follow. And then finally on GitHub, we're going to have a whole bunch of repos right now, deep orb generator pie torches under my personal, um, GitHub account, but we will be building an organization and as more people get involved in this, if we get a community, then I'll be even, you know, start get a discord together so we can all hang out and help each other. So that's what the intention of this project is. Um, I'm super excited about it. I hope you play a gigantic role in it. And I'm really looking forward to making some insane art with you. Thanks a bunch for listening. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.